So in this circuit, um, it's the RC circuit, but as you see, you, you'll see both independent sources and also dependent sources, which is fine. Um, so it says the switch closes at t equal to zero. So therefore, before t equal to zero, so for a long, long time, so t negative, the switch was open. So this was open. And uh, let's see what happens. So for example, at exactly t zero negative, so that's open, but also always look at the capacitor inductor and also look at the steady state. Here we have a capacitor and in a steady state, the capacitor will be open circuit. So if the capacitor is open circuit, and this is open, what happens to I of X? So I of X also becomes zero. So capacitor is open, I X at zero minus zero. And that's a very, that's a very good thing, why? Because, our dependent source, its value is four times Ix. Now, if my Ix equal to zero, then that's also zero, that's also open. So basically the circuit wow. becomes very, very uh, simplified. So therefore, so the current is zero here, and accordingly four Ix equal to zero. So circuit becomes, I have the six off, I have the one M, and the second one, the, the switch was open. Okay, right here. And yeah, that's it. And this is the capacitor, which is open. I have we are C at zero minus. And that's it. As I said, this is also zero. So we don't have any dependent source, basically, in this case, because the current is zero. Okay, nice. So what happens to V of C? So the whole current one amp is going through the six ohm. So therefore we can say V of C at zero minus is six times one, which is six volts. Okay, and also remember because it's a capacitor, this voltage will carry forward to after switching. So V of C at zero plus is also six volt. And that's information that we probably use for the next step. Okay, very good. So we have this information at the when uh, before the switch is uh, basically changed, before the switch is closed. Now at t equal to zero, we close the switch. So let's look at the t equal to zero plus. We close the switch and eventually we want to find V of C. Okay, so for, for that, I know we see um, already six volts. So I don't this right here. I don't need to calculate anything more. But then at infinity, because we, we, we need to know the voltage across all time. So, so let's look at the t equal to infinity. So what happens when t goes to infinity? So when t goes to infinity, again, the capacitor is in the steady state. So it's going to be open. So I just plot the circuit here, six, four. Six four one amp. Capacitor is open, and when capacitor is open, I x equal to zero. And then when I x equal to zero again, this dependent source, the the parents of that will be zero. So that is also an open circuit. So that's that's a good part here. So that's open circuit, and then this switch was closed. There was a 12 off here. There was a 9 volt here. And that's it. So this is the simplified fit circuit. And we would like to know what is the V of C. What is V of, oh, v of C at infinity? OK, so that's, um, let's see. We can do a node analysis. So assume this is 0 and this is V of C. So what we can say is we see minus zero divided by six. Um, and there's a one amp, so minus one plus, and this is nine volts. So this current is we see 
minus nine divided by 12 equal to zero. <clears throat> so after doing some math, so we get, uh, let's multiply everything by 12. So we get two VC minus 12 plus VC minus nine equal to zero, three VC equal to 21, V of C equal to seven. Right? Okay, very good. And don't forget, this is V of C at infinity. Okay, very good. So in order to know what's the value of V of C for all, all time, I have initial value. I have the, so this is my initial value. I have the final value. The only thing remaining to find the formula is to calculate tau. So if you calculate tau, then we are done, right? So therefore, we need to find tau. And for tau, we are uh, again looking at the circuit. Uh, we, we have to look at the equivalent resistor of the circuit uh, in, in the, from perspective of the capacitor. So therefore, I have to basically find, so tau is equal to R equivalent times C. I have C, but I need to find I, R equivalent. So therefore, find R equivalent. But what is the circuit that we need to find the R equivalent? Remember, for R equivalent, we have to zero the independent sources. And then, <clears throat> If there, are ex there exist dependent sources, or maybe you have to put the words, test voltage, you remember V of S, I of S. And then R equivalent is V S over I S. So this scenario is one of those cases because we have a dependent source here. So therefore what I will do, I will zero the, first of all, the switch is closed, right? So I will zero this, we go short circuit. I open this, okay? And then I have to, <clears throat> from the perspective of C, I have to find the equivalent uh, resistor. Let me copy the circuit below. So <clears throat> this is the circuit I copied. From the top, I zero the sources. And like this. And then I have to look at the R equivalent from these two terminal. So what I will do, I will just uh, remove this capacitor and I will put a test voltage. Vs and then Ix. And by the way, this was Ix. Okay. So we need to basically uh, analyze this circuit and find Vs over Is. So looking at it again, we can do, a, let's say, a node analysis, assume this is equal to zero, and this voltage is just connected to V of S. So this voltage is V of S. So it's <clears throat> right there. Um, KCL at this point. So we uh, so the current going to the left is Ix. Okay. <clears throat> so the current going that way is. Mm, Ix. I'm writing the case here. Ix plus Vs minus zero divided by six plus Vs minus zero divided by four plus this term, which is four Ix equal to zero. But also look at the Ix and Is. What's the relationship between them? They're opposite of 
direction, right? I x equal to minus i s. Okay, sounds good. Just replace. Uh, so here you have five i x, five i x instead of i x, I put i s, negative i s, plus v s one over six plus one over twelve equal to zero. So from that, if you do some Math, we get 5 by s is equal to uh, 5 by s is equal to vs times um, 2 plus 1, 3, and this 2 plus 4. So therefore, vs over time s is equal to 5 times 4, which is 20. Oh. And that's R equivalent. So my R equivalent is 20 O. So therefore the tau is R equivalent times C, which is 20 O times C, which is one millifarad. One millifarad is the total becomes 20 millisecond. 20 millisecond. So the last step is to just put the formula. Let me expand my paper. Okay, remember we wanted to find V of C, right? So now we have everything. We C at time t equal to, I put the whole formula Vc infinity plus the Vc initial minus Vc infinity e minus t over t. Okay, so Vc infinity, we have it seven plus Vc initial is, uh, we see initial is six volt. Minus V and 27, E minus T over tau 20. Okay. Seven minus E minus T over 20 milli. And if you want to be more, so, uh, more simplification, 20 milli. So basically, it's 1,000 divided by 20, which is 50. So 7 minus E minus 50 T. This is volt together equal to zero. So that's it. That's all we want. That it doesn't want the mathematical expression here. So that's it. so. As you see, for solving this kind of question, so we need to know the initial value, the infinite value, and also the time.